The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for a generation. A mantle hand down from warrior to warrior. And now that your brother has murdered my father, I now wear the mantle. We need to talk. Okay. What's going on? We need to talk to you about your plans for the future. Uh, Dad, we have, already, we have already had this conversation. So I told you two guys what I'm trying to do. And what is that exactly? I'm going to become an actor. Son, those dreams are fairy tales. You need a career or something stable, something that'll put food on the table. Dad, acting is very stable. It's hard work, but once you get your foot in the door, you're good. If it were that easy, everyone would be an actor. I mean, everybody would be a superstar. But it's not that easy. Son, do you know that 90% of people that try to be an actor end up failing? And we don't want that for you. We love you and we're trying to protect you. And your dad and I think it'll be a good idea if you study to be a doctor because you're good in science. What? Son, think about it. Doctors make great money. I mean, it's a great career. It's a respectable field and you get to help people. Dad, that's not what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I can feel it inside. It's like I was built for this. Oh boy, stop being stupid. Now, I'm trying to be nice to you, but you're starting to provoke me. Now, you need to drop this acting stuff and get your life together. Dad, my acting stuff is not stupid. And one day I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to prove to you guys that it's not stupid. When are you going to prove it? You're 23 years old, still sitting on your mom's couch, still living in your mom's living room, watching movies every day and practicing monologues. That doesn't make any sense. How much time do you need and when will this big dream work? You know what, Mom? I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show Dad. One day, you're going to see me in your TV. You're going to see me in the news. And you're going to be proud to say, that's my son. Mike, where are you going? I'm going to my room. You don't have a room here. Well, well, what do you mean? Michael, we've been pampering you and taking care of you, and I think that's making you weak. It's time for you to go out there and face the real world so you can understand what life is really about. You can kick me out? It's the best thing for you, son. It's the best thing that we can do for you. You'll thank us in the long run. Okay, you know what? I'll get a job and I'll pay my side of the rent. No, you'll get a job and you'll get your own place. What is this? Some money. It should last you a few months until you get yourself a job. You guys are serious? I'm sorry, baby. No, it's okay. I'll pack my things and I'll get out of your house. Roger, do you think this was a good idea? I'm not sure. The boy needs a life. He's got to learn how to stand on his own two feet. What the? Where's that? Cheryl, are you okay? Have you guys heard from Michael? No, we haven't heard from Michael since he left her. He had not contacted us. Tried to reach out to him several times. He ignored both me and his father. Calls and texts. Okay, have you guys seen the news? Why, what happened? Yes. Oh my God. Oh, man. I knew this was a bad idea. <sighs> no, nothing bad, something great. So what happened? You guys should see the news. Michael, how does it feel? You just signed an $18 million deal with Romario Facey Productions. It's a dream come oh. through. I've been working all my life for this moment. It's final year. You gotta give God thanks. I know your family must be super proud. How are they reacting to your success? My family. <sighs> I mean, 
You know what? I just want to say <laughs> thanks to everyone. Oh, 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 my boy made it. He said that he I would. Really oh, my son done made it big. <laughs> Well, I can't believe my eyes. My son is a star. Mike is a star. Hey, bro. How you doing? I've been good, though. My baby, you look so beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, man. So, do you guys want? We came to see you. We want to show you our support. You came to show me support? That's what you say, Dad? Yeah, we're proud of you. I guess that. When I need you guys the most, you kicked me out of the house. When I needed your love, you never believed in me. And now you're proud of me? Because I proved to you guys that I could make it? And mom, why are you surprised? I always told you I would do this. Well, rather than encourage me, you talked me down, you disencouraged me, you belittled me. And now you want to smile and call me your son and tell me how proud you are of me. Son, we just didn't know what you were trying to do. We just didn't understand. I mean, I mean how do we know you were going to pull it off? We didn't know. Dad, it wasn't that you know. You should have believed in me. As my parents, whether I failed or not, it is your job to push me. But you didn't. Son, please forgive us. We love you. We've always loved you. Son. OK, y'all got to go. What are you doing? Stop. 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 Don't let them do this to us. It was hard for me. After you put me out, it made it twice as hard for me to achieve my goals. Son, we're sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive us. Son, we didn't mean to do you any harm. We just wanted the best for your future. I forgive you guys. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> the moral of the story is, as parents, you should be your child's biggest supporter. There's enough discouragement in the world. Never limit your kids' dreams to your own understanding. People can achieve anything they 